presentable now? No. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. He says hi. Hi guys. Hello from the other side. <laughs> so we are back on our 1994 Miata. And finally, we can tell the other side is almost done. Like we have little things to finish there, but in general, all the rust repair is done, let's say. And Nick was just asking me, shouldn't we finish the other side before we come to this side? And I said, yeah, it's a good idea, but I just can't wait to see the car in one piece. So I'd rather come and do the whole side on this side as well, repair the rocker, repair the fenders and everything underneath have the car in one piece, even fit, fit the front bumper and everything, and then we can go around and fix the little things. I can't wait to see it in one piece. As you can see, we brought it a little bit further to the other side of the garage now. So we have room on this side. It is muddy outside. We, were, we wanted to turn it around, but it is muddy outside, so we don't want to drive it through the mud. So we just brought it this way. And I guess in this episode, we're going to start with a lot of destruction or demolition, Nick corrected me. Uh, I mean, we're not gonna repair, we're not gonna make any patches today, I guess, but we're just gonna go to town and cut all the rust away that we don't need as a reference. So we're not gonna cut everything away, but the external panels, we don't need any reference. So we're just gonna cut here, like the other side. We're gonna cut the whole rocker off. We're gonna cut the bottom of the front fender even. We're gonna expose everything inside that will need to be repaired, which I'm hoping it is better than the other side, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, I take that back. It's not better than the other side. <laughs> yes, Rusty? Is it better or worse? Better or worse? You. Oh, okay. So I just I was just showing Nicola that he, you can use a magnet to find out whether you have bondu because he was asking me what do I think if there's bondu here and there, and I discovered a little nice function of my picker upper magnet. <laughs> it's not designed for that, but it actually works really well for that. So you see here where we have uh, we don't have bondu. Look, it stretches a lot before it releases. So this is how much it stretches here. But if we come here, for example, where we know that we have bondu, it barely sticks, but there's areas where there's a little bit of bondu and it only stretches this much before it releases from the metal. You know those little tools that are designed with a little scale here and how they, they, they tell you how much body filler you have? Well, I can use my magnet for that. <laughs> you see? Here I have a little bit of body filler. Here I have no body filler. This is just the paint and primer and stuff like that. Multiple layers of paint. If I go here, you see how much it stretches here? A lot, because we are directly to the metal, even though it's rusted. If I come here, here I can stretch it all the way. So this little thing actually <laughs> is my best friend from now onward when I go to pick up a car from somewhere. <laughs> but you know the condition of the cars that I buy? In, in the best areas they, are, they look like this. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways. Too much talking, let's get crack a -locking. We're gonna put you on time-lapse mode, we're gonna play some music, and I guess most of this video is gonna be like that for you.
All right, it's actually the next day because yesterday we spent like two hours here on this part and this time I'm a little bit more brave with cutting old rust because last time I was thinking that uh, I wasn't gonna go that deep, as deep as I actually went and I was cutting one layer trying to see what's behind it and do I need to cut the next layer or whatever. This time I know that I need to cut them all. So I'm still keeping parts for reference, for example here this is something that, this is this panel from here. Uh, how did it go? I forgot how it went, like this. So there are actually, these are actually two panels that are welded together. And uh, in, on the other side, even the bottom of this panel was badly damaged. But here this is good, so we might need just to repair this tab here, which I don't know what it is for and then we're gonna weld it back also this layer just like the last time i cut it off completely we're gonna repair the bottom later and we're gonna weld it back and on this side this was really bad here we had aluminum inside which still had the protective tape and there was a lot of body filler that was just shoved from behind and then they tried to uh, cover the holes I guess for a uh, inspection even underneath if you look at the floor here you see there was body filler even on the rail here I guess that they did that for inspection so the <laughs> so they tricked the inspectors that there's no rust or whatever anyways so this side is uh, almost removed, all the rust here to this panel I removed a little bit but uh, later I'm gonna remove this plastic and uh, we're gonna cut also the rust from here. We're gonna remove most of the rust because I know that for here for example I had as a reference I had the other panel, the, the outer panel before so it's fine. Uh, here we're gonna cut it further inside the gap just like on the other side and here too for now I just cut it like that to remove it uh, the front as well here I'm still removing this uh, the re remainings of the seal or the rocker I remove them from everywhere else and here the bottom is a little bit better than what it was on the other side so we'll see if we're gonna have to remove that I think here the back is solid, this underneath. On the other side we had to remove the bottom of this piece, repair this and then put this back. But here, I don't know, maybe we are in a little bit better shape than the other side. So Nick yesterday had nothing to do, he had to just watch me, but today he actually remembered that on this side we have this hole that I drilled for no reason. I thought there was a reason, but there wasn't. So today he's gonna repair this hole while I'm working on the other side. We made a patch and because this is a really solid metal there, we made this patch out of a really solid metal too. So I believe it goes the other way around. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. There you go. So he's gonna do this himself here. He's gonna tuck it, weld it, grind it, let's see what kind of a job he's gonna do. I'm just gonna leave you here with him, so please supervise him, and I'm gonna go on the other side, and I'm gonna keep removing rust. Um. Yeah? What? <laughs> you lost it? <laughs> Wait, I can pick it up, I can pick it up. Try. No. I hope. Okay. I have a bigger gap to fill, but. Okay. Oh, how did you get it? That's an, an another one that I made. Oh. Okay, give me that, let me tuck it quickly. Okay. 
okay so did, he did pretty good job here i had to help him a little bit with the grinding in the corner but other than that he filled up the hole nicely and on the other side i removed most of the rust i just need to deal with here but i have to remove the door and the fender to be able to cut this off but the rot is out most of the rot is out so whatever rust we have there is surface rust that probably is gonna stay i mean that we're gonna treat without cutting off we're gonna wire away with rust converted paint etc etc everything that needs to be cut is cut away from here here too remove the rear wall and now we have this Mm, rail from underneath that the end is rotten just like on the other side so this we have to cut somewhere and extend and then we're going to start building the layers one by one the rear wall then this here triangular piece that we need to extend the floor then this uh, strengthener piece i believe it is that goes comes this way and then this layer that comes down and finally the rocker we have a new rocker for here so all right so it's two weeks later and the weather is much better nowadays <laughs> so we actually can work with the door open so nicole is here waiting for assignment so we need to figure out something for him in the last video or it was actually earlier this video <laughs> but for us it was two weeks ago we cut this rust from everywhere on this side. We went far and beyond. <laughs> we cut everything at the same time. Anyways, uh, we were sitting here trying to make a plan where to start from today. And I think we should start uh, putting stuff together <laughs> or cutting a little bit more before we start putting stuff together. Because here, before we start building up, the missing part here we still need to cut more i just went underneath and i buzzed a little bit with the needle scaler and it looks like here we have to still cut further and start repairing this channel that comes from somewhere there and build it up to here and then we can start building up the front parts here uh, but i'm thinking in the meantime maybe we should take the door off and even the fender and make patches for here so Nick can start welding. He can start welding here, he can start welding here inside. This needs to be repaired. And uh, once this is repaired and that is repaired, we can start building the rest. The other option is maybe we should start doing that tomorrow. I, I want to do what I usually do with major repairs like that. I make the panels for the outside, which we have. We have fenders, we have a rocker over there, we have everything. That's my new car. <laughs> Anyways, we can make all the patches for outside. We can cut the rocker and fit it how it's gonna fit there, like we did on the other side. We can make the patch for here. We can even make the patch for the front fender. And once our shell outside is built, then we can uh, have reference for many things. For example, here, where does this bottom piece come? We don't know, like we, we expect that it is a straight line from here, but here at the end, we don't know. But if we have the rocker, that's gonna give us exactly the position of the bottom flange of the rocker here, where it ends here, and even this curve here, we're gonna be able to, to do. On the other side, we use the plastic that comes here, which fits around this flange so the channel on the plastic is going to give us idea where this flange is so yeah before we start building too much we need to fit the panels outside so first thing first let's take the door off and the fender right so the door is off the fender is off and this is what i'm talking about we want to repair this before we can install the rest of the rocker here. So I'm gonna cut, I don't know, probably all the way to these plug welds here. Mm. Now I remember. Yeah, we have to cut this panel off, then put the rocker on and then we can repair this. 
this goes over the rocker. Yeah. Let's remove the top layer here, see how far the rocker is damaged, because here we have the inner piece, this piece, goes all the way up. Then we have the rocker, which is this piece on top, and then on top we have this, which covers them. So we have three layers here. This is one, two, three. So this piece that remains here is part of the rocker. So this is the rocker and it extends and it goes up. So this missing piece here is missing from the rocker. The metal that we see underneath is part of this inner rocker. We brought our new piece here, new rocker, which fits like this. And it turns out it's not that long. It's cut much shorter. So we don't have much metal here to replace anyway. So I think we're gonna cut it where this line is. We're gonna cut the old piece and then from there we're gonna go down and we're gonna cut it like on the other side, half right in the middle. We're gonna split this uh, horizontal part of it in half. So, okay, we're gonna make a cut here, 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 and then we're gonna figure out the back. Okay, so now that we matched it pretty much here at the back, um, I might have cut it a little bit too far, <laughs> but it's fine, this is inside, we're gonna fill this gap, no problem. Here in the middle, it's open, but it goes in. Oh, can't push it now, but it, it goes in, we're gonna close it. Here is the only problem, I don't know why, I run a self-tapper to push it all the way in as far as possible and it's still not closing this gap. So either I cut the two pieces wrong or we're gonna need to modify the metal inside here to be able to push this further in so this can touch, but we're gonna, ter we're gonna determine that with the door. When we put the door on, we will see if this needs to go further in or not. Anyways, this gap, like I said, is gonna close. You can see I'm pushing in, but I don't know why that it bowed when we cut it, so it's fine. But uh, that gives me an idea now how to repair here at the back. So now I know where my bottom is. It needs to match this um, corner here. So this piece needs to come down, curve and match here with the flange down. Um, also this flange now, I know the shape because like I said with this plastic here, when I put it inside, it goes like this and it tells me exactly the shape of this flange, you see, which is pretty much a straight line. It's pretty much a straight line from here. The following day.
right, so it was too noisy around and I didn't want to talk too much, but you saw how we made this patch. And as usual, I made it a little bit too short here. But other than that, it fits well. So Nicole now is gonna finish welding it. And then at the end, he's gonna just put a piece of metal here. He's gonna weld it like that. And then he's gonna cut it to have a nice and straight flange here. But it looks good. Uh, I wasn't able to clean the rust very well because I wanted to keep the rocker in place for um, as long as possible. So now in this position, I can wire wheel it better here so there's no contaminants. So Nicole can finish welding it. And then we're gonna continue building it this way and building this piece underneath, etc., etc. All right, so that's what he did. It's not bad at all. It's really good actually. It's welded properly, it's penetrating everywhere. Here he, just where he started, the metal is still a little bit thin here, so he burnt it, he wanted to fill it up, but I told him to, to leave it, it's not so important. So this end is done. Now I'm thinking the rest, uh, I still have to cut more of this here. This is pretty thin. So I'm gonna cut this like that, only the outer layer, and then we're gonna see how much of this we're gonna save, how much we're gonna cut away, and then we're gonna make another patch for here to repair this piece, but before we weld it in, we're just gonna clamp it maybe, and we're gonna make the patch for behind to, to fit this outer patch, and then we're gonna take the outer patch out and we're gonna weld the inner patch in, and only then we're gonna weld the other outer patch. But for the inner patch, we need, we need the outer patch, you know what I mean? because it comes underneath and overlaps it. You see this lip here comes and overlaps the the inner here, the floor and everything. Here, I think the curve became a little bit too straight. I was supposed to be a little bit more horizontal here and then up, just like here. But you know what? It's not a big deal because the other side is totally different. On the other side, we did it with a sharp bend, I believe multiple pieces here. I don't know what I did there. I don't remember, but the two sides are gonna be different. But what's important is to be solid, not to be original, you know, like that. So this is pretty solid here, but this here is bad. So I'm gonna cut it further out and then we're gonna make the patch for here. I don't think I'm gonna hold you here for that. It's a pretty easy patch to make. Okay, I know I said that I wasn't gonna keep you here, but <laughs> I think uh, there's something interesting on this patch that I want to show you. So you see, we made the rear end of the patch to match pretty much the opening there. It's not perfect, but we're gonna shape it later to the correct shape. But now in this end here, we need to make it with a corner like this, right? And here we need to make it round. So starting from that little corner, we need to make multiple bends and I'll show you now what I think I'm gonna do. We'll see if it is gonna work, but I think it's gonna work. So this patch is made as well. You see how it gradually becomes from a corner here to a round edge. Like I said, it's not original, but that's how it is gonna be. And wow, the first mosquito, do you see it? <laughs> anyway, and like I said, we're not gonna weld it yet because we're gonna come and we're gonna repair this first, which now we have to extend and match it with this patch. I don't know if you see very well here, but anyways, however, it is uh, the last day of the 
long weekend of Nicola, so he's going to his mom tonight because tomorrow he's at school. He actually went already to start getting ready, so he's gonna come back only to drive the car outside. Now guess who needs to put the door on, paint some stuff and... Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to show you here he cleaned up a little bit surface rust where we had where, where, wherever we had cleaned up also some of the dirt around and just primed wherever there is rust here we discovered we had the exact same problem as on the other side so this we will need to replace we will need to repair at some point but other than that here it is it looks pretty good in the front wheel well so yeah i'm gonna take this patch off now we're gonna keep it somewhere safe maybe here inside the shop so it doesn't rust outside we're gonna paint the bare metal there inside and outside i'm gonna put the door on and we're gonna drive her out again for the next two weeks until nicole comes back again unless he decides to come the next weekend but we will see anyways i have to clean up now <laughs> all right so she's out her cover is totally ripped now it ripped during the winter because it kept freezing at the bottom and when we wanted to drive her in and out we had to pull and the ice was just holding the bottom so it's all ripped now anyways so here's mr nick are you happy with the progress this week mm -hmm. eh, not much but <laughs> Not a lot of progress, but actually we did a lot of progress. We cut the fender, we cut yeah. the rocker, we made those patches, we started rebuilding it already. So we soon we're gonna be ready. So that's gonna be it from us. Thanks for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, from share, for sharing and supporting the channel. And we're gonna be <laughs> back in two weeks, I guess. So take care, guys. Bye. Bye.